Welcome back, this is Dr. Jin Sung, where clinical excellence meets excellent results. Today we're going to talk about garlic, and in my opinion, a superfood. It's easy to prepare, readily available, and has so many different health benefits. You should be taking garlic every day. Garlic has been used medicinally for thousands of years, and modern research started around the 1950s. Okay? Garlic is in the same family as chives, onions, and shallots. It's high in sulfur compounds, amino acids, fiber, calcium, iron, magnesium, selenium, zinc, vitamin B1, vitamin A, vitamin C. So it's very nutrient dense. But the ingredient that's very important is something called allicin. It's an active compound in garlic and has profound effects. Now there are other active compounds which I'll list in the description below and they also have uh, beneficial um, activity. So in the scientific literature, it's shown to be antioxidant, meaning it blunts the oxidative stress of just living, right? Um, not sleeping, uh, stress, physical, hormonal, um, mental stress. It's anti-inflammatory. It's been shown to decrease C-reactive protein in the blood. So they take patients uh, and they reduce their uh, inflammatory load. It's also antimicrobial. It's been shown to reduce the effects of Staphylococcus aureus, E. coli, H. pylori infections. It's antifungal, reduces uh, fungal infections as well as candida infections. It's anti-cancer or anti-tumor, so it reduces the, the, the cancer growth. Anti-clotting, meaning it reduces the plaque in the arteries. It's anti-hyperintensive and also immune modulating. Just look at all the benefits. How could you not take garlic on a daily basis? Now, some of the research shown to decrease systolic blood pressure by 7.4 to 16. Diastolic, five to nine uh, decrease, right? That in itself is huge, right? If you combine that with exercise, you can reduce your blood pressure into the normal range. The fiber in garlic is also a prebiotic. Helps the good flora, right? While reducing bacterial overgrowth, um, that could be detrimental to your gut, reduces candida infections. It's neuroprotective because it's antioxidant, anti-inflammatory, and uh, anti-hypertensive. So it protects against things like uh, vascular dementia, dementia, uh, Alzheimer's disease. It increases nitric oxide. Now this is interesting because it actually helps to dilate the blood vessels and increases blood flow to the periphery, like your hands, your feet, to the brain. So that's an important one. It also reduces lipids, right? Total cholesterol decreases total cholesterol by 7 to 29.8 points, reduces LDLs, and increases your good cholesterol, the HDLs. So it has a profound cardiovascular effect, um, and everyone should be taking it, especially if they have family history. Now, commercially available, there's aged garlic extract, garlic essential oils, garlic powder, and you can also get them in a whole garlic uh, suspended in basically vegetable oil, right? The best way to take garlic really is chopping or crushing the garlic because it releases an enzyme, okay? And it takes it from allen to allicin, and allicin is the active ingredient that has so many profound effects. There are other uh, active ingredients, again, I'll link that below, but it's better to have it raw better than cooked because cooking will reduce the active ingredients so having it raw so if you took uh, a clove of garlic minced it or chopped it down right you can put a little bit of lemon in it you can just take it in a whole okay if you have a hard time doing that you can mix it in with some water a little bit of uh, raw honey and you can take it on a daily basis and you can have all the benefits I mean, ox antioxidant, anti-inflammatory, so many benefits that you should be taking garlic every single day. All right? 
My name is Dr. Jen Sung, where clinical excellence meets excellent results, and we'll see you guys next week on the healthy side. Have an awesome day.